Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom Dennis the Menace. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Dennis the Menace is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Dennis the Menace. Irene Tedrow was born in 1907. In the sitcom, she plays Mrs. Elkins. In 1959, when she was in the sitcom, she was 52, and sadly she passed away on March 10, 1995, at the age of 87. But when you refuse him only because of age, you are discriminating, and that's bad. Indeed. <laughs> it's a pity you didn't have such lofty sentiments last month. <laughs> Gloria Henry was born in 1923. In the sitcom, she plays Alice Mitchell. In 1959, when she was in the sitcom, she was 36, and sadly she passed away on April 3rd, 2021, at the age of 89. We're not having company. I guess me and you and Dad are going on a picnic tomorrow then, huh, Mom? <laughs> no, Dennis, we're not. Just lately, and I think it's all because of Betty White. I think if she can't have all the jobs, you know, if she's so proud of being 89, who knows? Jeannie Russell was born in 1950. In the sitcom, she plays Margaret Wade. In 1959, when she was in the sitcom, she was nine years old, and now she's 73. Well, if you ask me, it's utterly disgusting the way American men fall all over themselves every time they meet a foreign woman. <laughs> And myself, I'm a chiropractor, and one of my patients is a, a publicist for at Universal. And he said, you know, a friend of mine is out here from New York, Bobby Rip. Herbert Addison was born in 1917. In the sitcom, he plays Henry Mitchell. In 1959, when he was in the sitcom, he was 42, and sadly passed away on June 11, 1994, at 77. It's in the attic. I didn't let you spell it out for fear he might know the word. Oh, honey, don't be silly. I don't think he was even paying any attention. Hello, operator. This is the same seat I used. You won't miss this time. You should that sure miss. What's wrong? Tastes dry as dust. Here, have a... Ron Howard was born in 1954. In the sitcom, he plays Howard. In 1959, when he was in the sitcom, he was five years old, and now he's 70. Who wants to say something at the meeting? Uh, I guess I don't. Me neither. <laughs> Somebody's got to say something. And he said, nobody sings. Nobody has to sing. It's, it's a musical, but nobody sings. When I finally read the script, I still didn't understand why he was calling it a musical. And later I realized... Gail Gordon was born in 1906. In the sitcom, he played John Wilson. In 1962, when he was in the sitcom, he was 56 and sadly passed away on June 30th, 1995, at the age of 89. Be all right. Hey, get back here and I'll show you my hummer. That's what I call my fastball. It really hums. Well, I'd like to hear it, but my wife has asked me to go. I've been asked that question probably 894 <laughs> times and there is no... Jay North was born in 1951. In the sitcom, he played Dennis Mitchell. In 1959, when he was in the sitcom, he was 8 years old, and now he's 72. Problem? Yes? Well, something's come up that I don't understand. Well, what is it, Dennis? Boy, you sure got a lot of hair on your chest. I told you, you all right? You didn't seem like a grouchy, angry guy with Dennis, but in reality, he was a very good-natured, good-hearted individual. But Sylvia Field was born in 1901. In the sitcom, she plays Martha Wilson. In 1959, when she was in the sitcom, she was 58, and sadly, she passed away on July 31st, 1998, at the age of 97. Crazy idea that I don't like children, do you? I don't think so. No, I don't know. Oh, Dennis wouldn't get the wrong idea. Sarah Seagal was born in 1914. In the sitcom, she plays Alois Wilson. 
In 1962, when she was in the sitcom, she was 48, and sadly she passed away on August 12, 1990, at the age of 76. Oh, how can I relax when I'm dying? Oh, you're not dying. You just made a pig of yourself eating too much ice cream. Billy Booth was born in 1949 in the sitcom he plays Tommy Anderson. In 1959, when he was in the sitcom, he was 10 years old and sadly passed away on December 31st, 2006 at the age of 57. Wilson, would you like to join our new space club, Mr. Wilson? Oh, no, thank you, Dennis. We got swell plans. Someday we're going to build a real spaceship. Willard Waterman was born in 1914 in the sitcom he plays Otis Quickly. In 1959, when he was in the sitcom, he was 45 and sadly passed away on February 2nd, 1995 at the age of 60. He, might... he what? He took him off the team. What's the matter with that idiot principal, the stupid lemonhead? Does he know the team will get murdered without a star pitcher? He couldn't. George Caesar was born in 1912. In the sitcom, he plays Surgeon Theodore Mooney. In 1960, when he was in the sitcom, he was 48 and sadly passed away on June 13, 1979, at 66. Morning. What's wrong with right now, you fathead? There's nothing wrong with right now, you fathead. Who's a fathead? We'll see who's a fathead, you fathead. <laughs> Joseph Kearns was born in 1907. In the sitcom, he played George Wilson. In 1959, when he was in the sitcom, he was 52 and sadly passed away on February 17, 1962, at the age of 55. By the Graceful Living magazine, of course! Oh, George! And Martha, not only are they going to print my essay in next month's issue, but they're coming out here to... When we reflect on the incredible journey of Dennis the Menace that took place between 1955 and 1963, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.